Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, John Medvik, thank you for having me tonight. I've been in Africa for the past 20 years, and unfortunately, the main challenge that Africans were facing then is still the same challenge they are facing today. And the main challenge is the lack of energy. Without energy, there is no access to good health. Without energy, there is no access to good education. But most importantly, without energy, and although there is so much clean water deep in the aquifer, without energy, we cannot pump water, and people do not have access to clean water. Even today, 620 million people are living in Africa in the darkness, and over 400 million of them are waking up every morning searching for water, water that most likely, and they know it, will make them sick. It is almost inconceivable to think that today, the main reason of death in the developing world is the drinking of dirty water. So for the past 10 years, Innovation Africa, we have used simple Israeli solar water, agricultural technologies, and we brought them to African villages. And so far, we have electrified over 250 schools, medical centers, and by using a few solar panels, thank you. And by using a few solar panels, we were able to pump water and bring water to over 1.4 million people in 10 African countries. The solution is simple. The technology exists. And the impact is truly priceless. And so, I would like to congratulate all of you for being here tonight and joining force with our crowd. I would like to say thank you to John Medvet, to Caleb, Alan and David. The work that you have doing in Africa so far, it's tremendous. Africa is a continent that is embracing change, that is looking for investments. And I know there is so much that can be done. We can empower so many people with simple technology and simple solutions. Now, many of you here have been with me in the villages. But there is one of you here tonight, Jeremy Lastman. Jeremy, where are you? Jeremy's son, his son, 13 years old, told him a few months ago, Father, for my bar mitzvah, I don't want to have a party. I want to go and adapt a school and orphanage in Uganda. I want to raise money to bring Israeli solar technology to bring light to children that have never seen a light bulb before. So he raised the money, $18,000, and he went with his family, and he was there the day they installed the solar energy, and they opened the light. And for him to see the children looking at the light bulb for the first time was a big experience. So he decided to continue, and in a few weeks, he is going back, and this time to bring water 
with Israeli solar technology. They're going to be pumping water not only to the school, but to 10,000 people across the village. So I want to say thank you to many of you for your big heart, for understanding that it's important, and not only for Israel, but by providing and empowering others at the, term, at the same time we're empowering ourselves. And it is important for Israel, for the security of Israel, and for the security of the world. So let me conclude by saying that I hope that together we will continue to bring water where there is drought, to bring light where there is darkness, but most importantly, to bring hope and dignity where there is despair. Thank you very much.